Hey, good morning everybody. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw here. Uh, just getting back from the barbershop with a nice clean haircut. Uh, desperately needed one. Um, coming at you with a video today. Uh, I've had a couple of good mail days with another pretty good assortment of cards. All cards in today's um, mail day, including some porcelain cards. I won't say anything else. This is an item that I've been really wanting to get for a while and I finally found one at a good price. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start showing off what I've received. The first thing I'm going to show is a single card pickup that I got from 2018 Top Series 2. It's the Ted Williams short print. I swore I did not have this card, but once I pulled up my spreadsheet to enter it, I realized I already had it. So I love this card. Great pose of him swinging the bat in the dugout. Um, the very surprised. I'm usually very good about looking at a card and saying whether or not I have it or not, despite the fact that I have over 29,000 different. I usually can tell. And this one I swore I didn't have, but I do have it. So it's a duplicate. So it's a very cool card, though. I love it. Um, and anytime you can have a short print Ted Williams duplicate, maybe I'll look to maybe make a deal to try to get the 2021 that just came out. If somebody has that, maybe we can swing a trade or something. Uh, second card I picked up was a 2020 clubhouse collection this is from heritage update of Raphael devers i like these cards they're kind of 71 tops esque with the black border um so very cool looking Raphael devers card for the relic collection next cards uh it was a lot actually of andrew benintendi's uh, benintendi cards have seemed to pick up a little bit of steam since his trade um his cards have definitely uh, leveled off in price over the last couple of years because he hasn't performed uh, but there's still he's still young and he's getting a fresh start in Kansas City this year so uh, I think there's a little bit more interest I've noticed that his his cards have been selling a little bit higher but I picked up this lot right here and I basically picked up the lot for the top two cards a couple of nice relic cards from Topps Museum this one is a 2020 I believe let me just double check on the year this is a 2020 quad relic of Benintendi. This one is numbered to 99, number 6 of 99. Nice looking card. Very simple, all four gray swatches. And the second card was from 2018 Museum. Wait a minute, sorry. They're both 2020. I know I marked them wrong on my spreadsheet. This is also a 2020 Tops Museum. This is a nice uh, red striped card. This is numbered to 35. So this is a nice low numbered card. And then the lot also contained this Obsidian. Sorry, hold it up right. Of Benintendi. This is from 2019 Prism. A 2017 Diamond King. I don't think that's the variation. I think the variation he has a blue jersey. And then this nice Tops Inception from 2019. I think I already have this one, but a nice duplicate. This is a cool one. This is 2018 Topps Chrome, the green version. This is numbered to 99. And a 2017 Topps Chrome, what is this? Uh, Future Stars of Ben and Tendi. I have this one already. But this whole lot was like $7, uh, which I felt the two relic cards were worth more than that in themselves and then that green chrome card is really nice too that is one i did not have so nice pickup on that lot the next item was a single signed card that the seller actually sent me some bonus cards on because he was a little bit slow in shipping it totally unnecessary i didn't consider it slow shipping um but it was a 2017 tops nomar tops high-tech nomar autograph Always love adding Nomar autographs. The price was good on this one, and the bonus cards he sent made it a really good deal. He actually sent these two Jeter Downs Bowman Chrome rookies, and this was the nice bonus card. And I, Unfortunately, I already have it, but it's still a nice duplicate. It's from 2002 Flair. It's called Jersey Heights. It's just a simple swatch card, uh, but I, I already have it. So that'll go in with my duplicates. But uh, very generous of the seller to send those bonus cards. That's always a nice thing when you get bonus cards. And then the last cards that I got was actually a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I bought two items off the Marketplace recently. The lot of autographed photos that I showed in my last video. And this is a set that seemingly you can't find these anymore. But when they came out, they were all over the place. And a lot of you who have been collecting for a long time probably remember the Rob Broder cards. 
They were simple, rounded-edged cards that featured the stars of the day, and then you know they made team sets as well. This one I'm guessing is from 1987, and it's the Boston Red Sox photo cards series two. It's actually series one and series two. It's a 36 card set of Red Sox players, and has two each of Wade Boggs, Roger Clemens, Jim Rice, Ellis Burks. And possibly Dwight Evans. I'm not positive. But I love the photography on these cards. And that's what they were known as was photo cards. They don't have stats on the back. A lot of close-up photos. And I kind of tested myself when I was entering these on my spreadsheet to see how many of the players I could figure out. Now, most of them were pretty obvious. But this one stumped me. And this, I believe, is the very first card of this player that I own as a Red Sox. And I could not figure this one out to save my life. But it turns out... It is Danny Schaefer. So I'm pretty sure that is a first card I've ever owned of a Danny Schaefer. And there's one other card in here that I'm pretty sure I don't own another one of. And see if anybody else can figure this one out. I had a different guess, but I was a few years ahead of myself on the guess. This one is Lachelle Tarver. Again, I believe that is the first and possibly only Lachelle Tarver Red Sox card I will ever own because I don't collect minor league cards. I'm sure that both of those guys were in uh, Pawtucket sets or AA sets as well, but uh, I don't collect minor league cards. So I probably will never own another one of either of those guys again. So I thought that was kind of cool. And it's 36 new cards for the collection. Um, the last thing I'm going to show is in addition to my Danbury Mint collection. Uh, I love Danbury Mint. They put out some amazing products over the years and um, I've been playing catch up over the last few years to trying to get all the figurines and card sets and things like that. Well, this is a set of one player, and I've seen it advertised many times before, and most of the time it's a buy it now. Uh, I missed out on an auction that was listed a few months back, and the seller listed it, relisted it, relisted it, and had a very low opening bid, and nobody ever bid on it. And I, I don't know why I didn't bid on it back then, and I don't even know if this is the same seller, but the price was the same. And this time I only had to outbid one person. But what it is, is the Ted Williams Danbury Mint Porcelain Baseball Card Collection. This is a beautiful set. And unfortunately, there's a lot of cards in here I will probably never own of Ted Williams. So this is a great way to own them. The only thing I didn't really care about was the fact that this it's a little dirty. Um, if you can see, this is like the header page. Oops, I'm sorry. It's very heavy being porcelain cards. Header page, it's kind of dirty. I'm going to see if I can take some a damp cloth and, and pull some of that dust and dirt off. But um, it's a really cool item. I probably won't show all the cards, but to give you an idea, they're all labeled with their own little plaque. It has this 39 play ball card. It is 1940 play ball card. And then 1941 play ball. 1950 Bowman. Etc. Etc. Like I said, I'm not going to show every single card. This page has the 56 and 57 tops. Uh, this is a really cool set. They're smaller than a regular card. And they're all in the pages. It's just a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it was a really great deal. All the cards are in there. Um, and I paid roughly a third of what the normal buying buy it now prices are on this set. So I'm really happy to finally own this. Um, anything Ted Williams is is good, um, and this is a big one for the collection. This will go into one of my display cases. I am going to try to take a, a damp cloth and try to clean it up a little bit because they're, they are all in plastic sheets, so it's not going to hurt the, the cards because they're porcelain. So just a really cool item. Um, you know me, I'm always looking for stuff like this, and this has been on my watch list for a long time. And I finally was able to get one at a price that I'm very comfortable with. So that is all I have today. I do have a few things coming in today's mail. I believe my Burbank sports cards order is finally here. Uh, that one got delayed uh, about, oh, three or four days now. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it's about just under 100 cards, mostly from 2017, if not all from 2017 as I attempt to uh, make a big dent on that want list um, and also push closer to my 30,000 different. I will probably update my total once I've got those all uh, put on my spreadsheet. So that's 
that's exciting for me. I also probably have a few single cards coming in as well. Um, I have no idea. I haven't checked the tracking on them to see what they are, but I still have a bunch of eBay stuff coming in, mostly individual cards and, and small lots. So I'm excited about that. That's my video for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope everybody is doing well. And hopefully um, anybody who's been dealing with weather, has uh, that's gotten better. I know here in the Northeast, it's a little cold out there today, very breezy. Uh, but we've had some pretty mild weather this week or milder weather as we push it toward March. Um, hopefully it will come in like a lion so it leaves like a lamb. Um, I think everybody's ready for spring, uh, especially those of you who have had tough winters that aren't used to having tough winters. So we've had it pretty good here in New England this year, I, I'd have to say. But uh, I don't like winter. I want to get to spring. I want to get uh, get the pool open, get back outside. So that is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. Take care, everybody.